Working with lots of states and lots of years of data can be a little time consuming, but I want to give you some tips on ways to handle things so that you can save some time. It's not going to eliminate it completely. So for example, this is from the census website. This is population data from 2010 to 2019. So these are their estimates for all of the states. Now, this is a 50 by 10 matrix, and what we need this to be is a 500 by, by 1 matrix. So I need to move all of these things around. So there's a couple of different ways that you could do it. Right? In the past, one of the things I recommended is taking this data and transposing it so that instead of Alabama's data being across, Alabama's data is down because ultimately we're going to need 10 entries for Alabama coming this way. But I actually think that now that I think about it, there's a better way of doing this. So one of the things we want to do is just replace these with numbers. So I'm going to call this 2010, and then I'm going to call this equals 1 plus that one. And then I'm just going to highlight this equation over. Using 1 plus a variety of things to number everything down is useful. I also recommend that once you finally have your data set together and you have it sorted in a way that makes sense, you add an extra variable to the left just called observation number and you label one and then you go equals that plus one and you go all the way down and then you fix that as numbers right on all of these after you're done with the equation you you paste it as values so what this allows you to do is very simply resort your data exactly the way you want it to be every time you just highlight the whole thing and sort by observation number and it always goes back to what you want it to be because you'll be playing around with this and moving it around and sometimes you'll forget you're sorting it first by this and then by that and then by a third thing and if you forget what that is using observation numbers is a really good way to do it but let's do it another way so ultimately this is population so this is the year it's in but this variable is actually population so what I want to do is create a new variable called year 2010 and it, sometimes if you double click this it will just start adding one to it um, so for example, if I were to call that 1 and then go, um, hmm, sometimes it adds up. When it, if it's adding and you don't want it to be adding, uh, one way you can do it is to actually put the same number in two cells and then click it. And then it knows it doesn't want to add one, that you want it to be 2010 all the way down. So some things to look for with states, I'm not going to worry about them now, but you need to worry about whether they include Puerto Rico and you need to worry about whether they include the District of Columbia because some data sets will and some data sets won't. So if your data set doesn't, then you need to make sure you're deleting the District of Columbia and deleting Puerto Rico because I'm going to do that right now because we're used to there being 50 states, which means I'm going to go to the end of 51 because the first row is my, my headers. I'm going to bold these. So we've got this in the year is 2010. What I need to do is create nine more of those running down for each of the years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my states and I'm going to copy them. But I want to show you a little technique for doing this so that you don't have to keep scrolling. Because especially if you're using a laptop where you don't have a scroll wheel, or if your screen isn't that big, it's going to be really useful to use shortcuts. So the shortcuts I want you to use are Control and Shift. Control, if you hold down Control and you hit any of the arrows, it will take you as far to that arrow as there is data. So if I'm on the cell that says Alabama and I hold control and I arrow to the right, it's going to take me to the end of the row out here to 2019. And I can arrow back. If I arrow down, it'll take me all the way to the bottom of my data. Arrow back up, it takes me up to name. Note it's not going to take me to Alabama again, it's going to take me there. So what I can do is I can go to Alabama, I can hit control, and now if I hold shift also, so I hold control shift down, boom, it's going to copy all 50 states. And now I'm going to hit control C. And now the problem is if I just hit down, I'm coming from Alabama. So I have to hit control down again to jump to the bottom. And then I move one more cell and then I do control V for paste. So now I've got that. So now I have two, two years. If I hit control V again, I jump to the bottom of that. Watch, now I'm going to hit control shift up. It's going to take me all the way to the top. I'm going to hold the shift down and just undo that part. And now I'm going to hit control copy again. And now I'm going to hit control down all the way. Oh, control down to here, and I'm going to hit paste. So now I've got four years of data 
I'm going to do that again, just hitting control down to get to the bottom every time. Control down and then control V to paste. So now I'm at 501, which means I'm at 500 observations. That is 10 years of 50 states, and I'm good. So then the other thing I need to do is this. I need to replace years, but we're going to use equations to make it really simple. Because what we know is that year for Alabama should be 1 plus whatever the previous year for Alabama was. And this is going to run down the next 450, and it's going to be perfect. And so once I've got that, I'm going to highlight that row. I'm going to hit Copy, right-click, and Paste as Values, and now I'm good. Now, I could use my scroll wheel to scroll all the way up to the top, or I can just do Control Up. It's going to take me all the way to the top of the data. So using Control Arrows and Control Shift to highlight, and then Control C and Control V for copy and paste. Super useful. It will save you hours, probably just this year alone. And it will save you much more than that over the rest of your life. So now here's what I've got. I've got 2010 here, 2011 here. So what I basically need to do is I'm going to replace this with population in a second. And so my 2010s is the same. Oh, I forgot to copy and paste as values. Paste as values. Good. So this will be my population in 2010. And now I need to take 2011s and get that below it. So again, if you want to play it safe, you can highlight and scroll down and then Control C for copy and then click right here and Control V. And we're good. Or probably we should do Control X to cut it so that we make sure we're not losing it. So I'm going to take this again and I'm going to hit Control X and then control V. Using the cut instead of the copy just lets you know that you've already done this and you've already moved it so you don't have to do it again. So I could take each of these next 10 years and move them down one by one but notice what I've got going on here. I can actually more easily take the next year, cut it, and paste it below. So instead of doing this one by one I'm gonna do it five times, two times each. So um, cut, control X, and then paste, and then come up here, control X, and then paste, and now I can string all this together. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not use my mouse at all, I'm just going to go control shift down, cut it, control down again to get back to the bottom, and then I'm going to paste that next to the other one. And then this one I'm going to go control up to get to the top, control shift down, Control X to cut it, Control down back again, and then Control V to paste. So now if I go back up here, Control Shift down, X. I'm going to go over to this one because I want to get to the bottom of that data, and then paste it. And then again, I go back up here, Control Shift down, Control X to cut it. I'm going to go back here, and then Control down to get to wherever I need to get where that data is going to start and then control V. So just remember the control and the, arrow, and the arrows take you wherever you need to go. Now if I hadn't been talking through this the entire way, that whole process probably would have taken me about five minutes and that was for one of my pieces of data. That's just population. So if you've got income and you've got all kinds of other things and unemployment rates, it's going to take you a little while and you're probably not as fast as I was. It might take you 10-15 minutes each one, but that's what you need to do. Every observation is one state in one year, and then I'm going to fill in income, uh, demographics, whatever other variables might be so that they will run it. But when you get data downloaded in a 50 by 10 or 50 by 20 format, or if you're using some of the other websites where they're listing 250 countries at a time and giving you lots of years, it's going to be useful to get in the habit of being able to do the control V and control X and control arrows to quickly and easily get to the pieces of data you need without having to try to scroll. If you are scrolling because you find that a little difficult, another little trick I have is to just do control and then down on the scroll wheel and that will shorten things up a little bit and that's going to make it a little bit easier for you to navigate around um, into the different areas that you need to go. So just, just using the zoom and zooming out so you can get more things on one page at once.